Hey guys, it's myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has released iOS 15 Developer Beta 6 as predicted as I talked about here on YouTube yesterday. If you follow me here, I mentioned that Apple at some point could be switching to a weekly release schedule. And this week could have been the week and it appears to be so. So Apple released iOS 15 Developer Beta 6 today. Now something interesting when the beta was first launched, it did not say Beta 6, but after a few minutes, it populated properly there it is iOS 15 developer beta 6 this one comes in at approximately 800 to 900 megabytes depending on on your device and the software beta or software that you're updating from. Now, as we talked about yesterday, this week is now the weekly release schedule has started. So this means that iOS 15 is near its final release. We'll talk about the details of that here in just a few seconds. And of course, we'll talk about some of the latest new features and a really great improvements within the latest beta. Now, Apple did not release any beta for Mac OS Monterey, so that did not receive an update. Of course, iOS 15 beta 6 is here ipad os 15 beta 6 is now available tv os of course 15 beta 6 but no watch os update as of yet so no watch os update or public beta as of yet and now something rather interesting that apple has done today it appears that today apple released the first share play developer profile now share play is the new feature within facetime that allows you to watch a movie or a tv show or listen to music simultaneously with another ios user but it appears that apple will continue internally testing this with developers and this will no longer be part of the release of ios 15 until further notice yeah that is a bit unfortunate so developers can add the profile and continue testing the share play feature but unfortunately it appears that at this time apple will be holding back on this feature i'm not quite sure why that is but it looks like that's going to be the case so ios 15 developer beta 6 is now available with the latest build number here let's head on over to the build number here and show you the latest build so here we go ios 15 beta 6 is 19 a 5325F. Now, we still can anticipate another two betas and an RC release candidate, which puts iOS 15 as an official release toward mid September. Now, a few things could happen here. As you may remember, Apple was working on iOS 14.8 eight which could allow users to update the security of their iphones without updating to ios 15 so if apple decides to push that software to the general public it could happen any time now but ios 15 could be releasing before the new iphones even get released so for example ios 15 could be releasing the second week of september and maybe the new iphones will release late september beginning of october that's just my prediction depending on how the share play feature works out from here on out and if apple decides to push 14.8 so there's just a lot yet to happen within the next month to a month and a half we'll have to wait and see so there's some big changes within the latest beta and the first thing i want to talk about is safari apple has changed safari back to its original state pretty much so i have a previous beta running on this iphone here on the right so this is beta five and of course this is beta six here on the left so take a look there at the bottom the share options the bookmarks the tabs are now right there visible uh, forward and backwards on uh, the pages is now right there you don't have the refresh button it's just nice to see that apple is really taking back the design of safari and really implementing these things as they should be there really wasn't a problem with safari in my opinion and Apple, uh, I think, realized that here, and uh, they're going back and actually giving the option for users to switch the layout of Safari. So if we head on over to the Safari extension here on the latest beta, so let's head on over to Safari extension here. Let me show you some new options available here. So if we scroll all the way right here in the center, Apple now gives you the option right there to choose if you want that bar at the bottom of the screen or at the top of the screen. So right there it is. We have new landscape tab bar, which is now an option to turn on or off. And as you can see right here, we have tabs on the bottom and tabs on the top. So let's go ahead with a single tab on the top here. If we head on over to Safari, there it is right back on the top as it was before. Trust me, if you haven't tried iOS 15 
as of yet, that's going to be something that's going to drive you crazy if you have the status bar right there at the bottom. So you're going to want to switch that back up to the top. If you don't get used to it, that is how you're going to be able to do it. So I'm happy that Apple is really listening to customers and actually allowing users to modify and change the user experience to their liking. I think that's definitely a great idea. Now, notifications also received a change within the latest beta. So if we head on over to notifications here and we go to, for example, here, the uh, app store, for example, right there, you see that notifications right here say immediate instead of saying banner, sound and notifications and sensitive notifications like messages, for example, let's look for messages here. So there's messages right here and let's look for messages right there so quickly we see here that there's some changes right away we see that at the top we have immediate delivery and then schedule summary here on the new beta which is something not available on the previous beta and if we go backwards once right here we see that we now have the tag right there to immediately deliver and then announce instead of having the badges sound and so forth as you can see right there are some changes happening within notifications we also have a new option here for show in carplay so if you connect your iphone to carplay the messages won't show if you turn off that option within messages or other sensitive notifications that you may want to not be displayed on an external display like your car playing your vehicle so a lot of changes happening here apple has yet still to add the actual id option to the wallet application hopefully that doesn't go the same route as SharePlay, and apple discontinues that option before the official release but i'm happy to see that apple is really giving the users the ability to change safari and more options within the software although it is a bit unfortunate that SharePlay looks like it's not going to be shipping with iOS 15 is kind of sad to see, but hopefully the feature does make it into future releases. Now, as I mentioned, iOS 15 could be released even before the new iPhones. This is something that's happened before. Maybe the new iPhones would ship with iOS 15.1 with SharePlay and everything integrated. It all depends on when Apple chooses to release iOS 14.8 if they choose to do that before iOS 15. We'll have to wait and see. Those are some of the latest changes within iOS 15 developer beta. Now, public beta testers, you guys should see this update within the next 24 hours. So 24 to 48 hours public beta testers, you guys should see the software populate. Let me know what you think about the changes in Safari, the changes for notifications. And of course, stay tuned for my follow-up video because I'll take a deeper dive into the software to share with you guys additional new features and changes within the software here in the next couple of days. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this update, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.